Good day. Welcome to Sage Pastel Bank Manager. My name is Sane and I will be taking you through the Sage Pastel Bank Manager. First question, what does Bank Manager do? It basically allows you to import your bank, your downloaded bank statement directly into your cash book of either your Pastel Partner, Pastel Express or Pastel Evolution accounting software. So as we understand, there are a few prerequisites that need to be met before bank, bank manager can work for you. Firstly, you need to have access to internet banking. This will enable you to download your statement. Secondly, you need to have a registered version of, of our accounting software. And lastly, you need to have bank manager as an add-on um, as an add-on module on your current software. Just to state, if you are running on Pastel Express or Pastel Partner, technical support is compulsory for you to have the bank manager functionality enabled for you. This is basically run in four easy steps. You start by downloading your statement, then you open it in Pastel Bank Manager through your processing screen. You set it up um, in terms of creating your batches and your transactions. Therefore, you transfer it back into your pastel um, payments as well as receipts batch, respectively. Things that I'd need you to check before you even start working on Bank Manager. Firstly, check your periods, that you are operating in the correct periods for this current year, right? Um, secondly, I would need you to check your entry types. Under entry types, I need you to check the relevant cash book account, check the account access, for your payments, payments are going to be from your general ledger as well as your suppliers and for your receipts, you're going to be receiving payments from your general ledger items as well as your customers. Okay. So once that is done, how, do you, how then do you access your bank manager? You would simply go to your process, go to your cash book, select the relevant or the appropriate cash book that you are working from. All right. After that, then look for your Pastel Bank Manager icon on the bottom right hand of your screen. And that is how you would access our Pastel Bank Manager. The first window that pops up is actually your select statement file window. Banks have different layouts, therefore you need to consult with your bank. However, every download needs to be either in a .csv format or a .tx. Formats already have been provided for you within Pastel and how do you then check? Basically under your statement provider you would have a list of the various banks as well as their respective formats. In this instance for this webinar I'm going to be using the AXA Cash Focus right? and I'm going to be browsing for my file which is basically my downloaded statement. I have saved mine in my Pastel 12 folder. As you can see, the last import will basically show you when last did you work with Pastel Bank Manager. It will show you the date, the time, as well as the document name, as you have saved it. Once you're done, you can select OK. The first screen that populates is your summary screen. The pie chart, as you can see, is actually all your transactions that have been an allocated at this point. All right, this is your, basically your grid. Your right hand side, you've got your uh, reconcile period. Which period are you reconciling for? Perhaps I'm going to be in reconciling for period um, for that date range. Period closing balance, statement receipts. So, period closing balance is looking at your bank account balance in that period. Receipts and the payments is looking at all the transactions in your statement. And then the projected balance is looking at after I've taken into account my debits versus my credits as well as my relevant balance what will I have as my balance the difference obviously would be from your statement it's looking at your period closing looking at all those transactions and then gives you a difference view 10 loss of loss of pressed transactions in the event that you do forget what transactions you have with previously that have been posted already Pastel does keep a record of these transactions for you. It will keep five payments as well as five receipts 
that have been transacted. The bottom graph that you have that you have then denotes your bank account balance over the 12 month cycle. Alright. And if you do not want to have the screen pop up every time you open Bank Manager, all you need to do is to select do not automatically show the summary and it will not open up with your next import. And then select continue. If you'd like to access the screen again, you basically go back to the summary field and that button will take you to that window. I'm going to go through each of the menu items that we have on our statement preview. Close, basically closes pastel. Import file takes you back to the import screen where you can then um, select a different download perhaps. Save changes and revert changes. It's basically noting once you have um, amended changes in your statement, do you want to save them? Yes, the revert changes will then select to undo those changes that you have created. Creating batches is basically creating each individual line items in your cash book batch, um, either in your payments or your receipts. How you then know is if you select the button from here, it will post both payments and receipts. However, if you select the arrow next to it, you've got the option to either post your, pay, your payments or your receipts, respectively. Add mapping and configure mapping is all the rules that you will teach Bank Pascal Manager. Summary I have already looked into. Then lastly, you've got the option to export as well as to import. You can export to Microsoft Excel. You can export from, you can import from Microsoft Excel. And once again, the arrow on either side allows you to do the various batches individually. Your last menu item is your about screen which basically shows you the version of Passport Bank Manager that you are operating from. The one I'm demonstrating is version 12, um, Sage Passport Bank Manager and it's the second release. First book and the second release. Now I want us to look at our line items. You now have got the option to show your payments, your receipts separately as well as collectively. Each transaction has been numbered from the first to right through to the last transaction. Okay. Date range is looking at your statement date as it appears. And then the period. PASO is basically comparing your statement date versus your period as set up in the company. And then it populates which period number it is. Statement description versus your ledger description. Stages, statement description is the lines or the information as picked up from your bank statement. Ledger description is how you would like to see it once you have posted the batch. Ledger description you can amend. Right. Then you've got your GCS, which is your account access. Depending on which field or which tab you're working with, if you are in the receipts tab, your account access will be your general ledger as well as your customers. If you are in your payments tab, your account access is general ledger as well as, well as suppliers. So which means whichever column you select here, whichever um, letter you select on the GCS, it basically will pick up the relevant master file. Example sake, the first one, argument sake, I'm linking it to a customer. It will then look at my customer database. If, however, I was looking at my general ledger, it will look at my general ledger chart of accounts. If I had selected to be a supplier, it will then look at all my suppliers that I've got created in my company. In the event that a master file has not been created or that does not exist on Pastel, what you will then need to do is close Pastel Bank Manager, go back into Pastel, create that master file, and only then can you be able to select it from Pastel Bank Manager, which means you basically cannot select it from here. Reference, each transaction is uniquely referenced, so each, each transaction has a unique number given to it. This is very important because wherever Pastel sees a reference that is being repeated, it will basically merge those transactions together. As far as your tax is concerned, 
you are looking at your tax type as it has been set up in your company okay um, if you are receiving payment from a customer or you are making payment to a supplier by default that will um, will then be ta that tax code will be grayed out simple reason being is that um, the tax has been accounted for at document level if you're working with projects you can then select or link a particular transaction to a project that you have stipulated all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to work through my receipts tab and I will take you through each of those um, items so my starting point is just to number and give them the correct account access and link it to the relevant master file so all I'm doing from my side of my keyboard I'm typing the first letter the reference and Pascal is searching by that and it only picks up the matching criteria or the matching master files So how then do you add your mappings and how do you configure your mappings? My first option, you would highlight a particular row that you're working with. When you right click on that row, you've got four options available to you. You can add a mapping, you can delete the row, you can split the transaction, or you can move to payment. So what does mapping say? Mapping is basically how you are teaching pastel what to do the next time it sees that reference. So I'm simply going to add a mapping to this rule. So new mapping says, search bank statement for what reference. So I look at my statement description and change the de description to what do I want it to appear as. So perhaps I want it to appear as payment from customer. Do I want to apply the mapping to my payments and my receipts, or just my receipts? Um, must it be for this cash book or all my cash books? And should it apply it on the current import? Once I've done that, I will then select to save. What you'll start noticing is that wherever there's a mapping, that line will now be grayed out because the mapping has been created. If I want to configure, which means I want to view what rules have been created or set up, all I go and do is I go view my configure mappings and I will pick it up from there. So what I will then go and do, I'm going to map each other transaction. So I'm going to create a mapping for each one of these and according to the password, we'll search the bank pay statement and then change my ledger description. Add a mapping and all right. So what you probably would have asked yourself is, I have just basically said payment from customer, payment from customer for each one of those. So how then does Pestle know? Perhaps the payment is coming from A or B. Perhaps the payment is coming from FRI. So, do I want it to just note whenever it sees that ledger description to just start with that and post it automatically to that account? No. What you then go into, under your configure mappings, you've got a priority. Priority basically tells Pastro. Priority status number one is what you would typically call very important. Start with searching the statement for that ALB. So that takes priority status number one. And once you're done with that, change my ledger description. Then move over to the next high priority all the way down to the bottom one. So my first one, ALB, perhaps they, they are a repeat customer, I'll give priority status number one. This will then give priority status number three, and I will give priority status number five, which means PASA will start with searching by search by ALB etc 
and note the correct legal description and then we'll move on to the next priority search by that um, feature to pick up the, that payment etc and then I will save that and my con my mapping has been has been configured I'm going to go back to the first line just to demonstrate how then would you split a transaction splitting a transaction says one payment has appeared on my bank statement however I want it to be linked to two different line items etc so I would leave my date range I changed my amount let's say I changed my loan my amount value to 50,000 what you automatically start seeing is that there's going to be a difference that populates Pesto is now telling you that you need to create another line to account for that difference. So from here, I'm going to go create the next line. And maybe that is for um, a different transaction. Just I got it from advertising and promotions or from some other income. Let me link it to my sales 1000. And I'll just say sales income, etc. And there's a tax code, sorry, tax code 1. And once I put in the balance, there should be no difference. After that, I would save that. So when you go back, you will now notice that, that um, the same reference applies, however, a split has been created. So the total will be that 59,576 rands and 40 cents, however, it has been split over two items. I just use sales income in this case just for an um, example sake. Okay. So once I'm done, so I've created my mapping. If perhaps I just want to delete a line, when would you delete a line? It's a, a repeat um, from my statement. It's, it, I've actually captured this before. I've got that option to delete that particular row. So from here, I now have my receipts all numbered accordingly. The rows, as you, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't change the the number of the row. The transaction still keeps the same and unique reference and I'm happy with my receipts what I'll then go and do I want to go create a receipts batch when I go under my receipts column as you can see I now have all my transactions that have been posted very important to note these have already been reconciled meaning they are in my statements and they also appear on my um, cash flow so what you then go and do to do the payments badge is to go back into your bank manager and then work on your payments badge and complete it there. If I try and post the badge as it is, PASA will warn me that I cannot post any badges unless I've rectified the relevant errors. Alright, so this takes us basically to the end of your um, end of our webinar. And I will close Pascal Bank Manager at this point. And from here onwards, this is where you can decide to now update your badge so that your transactions are posted. I'd like to thank you for your time and your patience. I hope that most, if not all, your questions have been answered in terms of how Pascal Bank Manager works. I will just do a quick recap. It is done in four very easy and very simple steps. Step number one, you download your statement. Step number two, you open it into Pastel, and how you access that is via your process cash book, and then the bottom corner is where you've got your Pastel Bank Manager icon. Third step is basically your setting up. Under your setup, that is where you create your rules, your mapping, your splits, etc. And lastly is your transfer, where you actually create your badges. You can create them individually, either your payments or your receipts badge. In, or you can do them collectively all in one go. Once again, thank you and I hope you have a great day further.